How's it going guys? It is 3.11 a.m. 14th of January, Saturday here in Japan. We have a medium difficulty question for Immuno for step one. Nearly identical question shows up on one of the offline NBME assessments. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 49-year-old man, when we kiss your purple over his lower extremities, liver edge is palpable, four centimeters beneath the costal margin. Serum studies show positivity, hepatitis CRNA. Serum C4 is decreased. Urine protein RBCs are positive. Question wants to know. Which of the following conditions is most immunologically similar to this patient's acute presentation? So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, anaphylaxis, wrong fucking answer. Anaphylaxis, type 1 hypersensitivity. You're going to have IgE on the surface of mast cells and basophils. It's going to bind antigen at their fab fragments. The IgEs will come into close proximity with one another, cross-link. Mast cells, basophils degranulate, release histamine, can cause respiratory distress, low blood pressure, edema. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Arthur's reaction is our correct answer. It's type 3 hypersensitivity. Diagnosis here is cryoglobulinemia, a bit of an obscure diagnosis. Cryoglobulin is an immune complex that is capable of depositing at cooler temperatures. Now, for whatever fucking reason, hepatitis C and malignancy are high-yield etiologies for cryoglobulinemia, and serum C4 can be decreased. Okay, so not my opinion, if you think it's weird, it's something that exists. It's on the NBME assessments for step one. You can sometimes get hepatomegaly. You could sometimes get renal insufficiency. You can sometimes get skin findings. Presentations are miscellaneous. If you get slash manifold, if you get cryoglobulinemia on the US simile, they will tell you C4 is decreased and they will give you hepatitis C or malignancy. Okay, now... It's type 3 hypersensitivity, as I said, immune complexes. And so is Arthas reaction. Arthas reaction is going to be a skin finding that you, it's a localized skin reaction that you get following an injection. Okay. So classically, this is going to be Moderna arm colloquially, which is the COVID vaccine. Three to seven days after the injection, you can get redness at the injection site. That's immune complex deposition. That's an arthritis reaction. You could, in theory, see it with injection of other vaccines or even IM ceftriaxone as an example, three to seven days after, okay? That's immune complex deposition, arthritis reaction. If you had an immediate response, that wouldn't be arthritis reaction. That'd be a type one hypersensitivity, immediate, okay? Allergy. So other type of hypersensitivities, we could make this a long discussion. Serum sickness which is arthritis three to seven days after an injection. Sometimes you can get that with infections, have BFC, rubella, yersinia, et cetera, chlamydia. You can also have post-treptococcal glomerulonephritis. You could have the malarash or lupus, all type three hypersensitivities. I'm just gonna whip through the other answer choices, just tell you some ultra high yield points right now. If you're gonna leave the clip, be an asshole, at least give the video a like before. Choice C. Contact dermatitis, wrong fucking answer, type 4 hypersensitivity. So this is T-cell response. USMLA wants poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. Uh, so linear vesicles, very buzzy, okay? Contact dermatitis, linear vesicles, when the weeds brush up against the skin. Contact dermatitis uh, can also be due to rubber. can also be sunscreen, very high yield. PPD test, okay? Uh, as well as... Graft versus host disease, wrong answer, also type 4 hypersensitivity. In theory, if you're going to apply a hypersensitivity type to it, so this is when you have a bone marrow transplant, almost always sometimes can be liver transplant, but for you assembly, bone marrow transplant where the graft, which contains donor T cells, are going to attack the host, who is the recipient. The donor slash graft T cells are going to attack the host slash recipient's Tissue as foreign. Okay, so it's a T cell response. So if we apply a hypersensitivity type to it, it would be type 4. It's a high yield uh, condition you need to know for USMLA graft versus host disease. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice E, Graves disease, wrong answer, type 2 hypersensitivity. Type 2 is when you've got antibodies against your own cells, tissues, receptors. 
Okay, so in Graves, you have TSI, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. That's the name of the antibody that targets and stimulates the TSH receptor. Okay, so obviously other high yield conditions type 2, heparin induced thrombocytopenia high yield. Okay, antibodies against heparin platelet factor 4 complex. Okay, platelets are cells. Okay, so it's type 2. Also pernicious anemia, exceedingly high yield, antibodies against parietal cells, ITP, antibodies against glycoproteins 2B, 3A on platelets. So long discussion of the hypersensitivity types. Okay, so we want to check this off for USMLE. If you go through my immuno playlist here, I do a lot of these questions on the hypersensitivities. Cover this stuff in the immuno high yield PDF, which I'll link in the comments below. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.